All right, and then the final semi-conference final is my beloved sons uh, taking on the Dallas Mavericks at Dallas for game six. Um, a part of me wants to obviously be confident and say that Suns will close this out. And then a part of me is we're, you know, quite wary of the fact that Dallas plays very well at home and Luka is a massive threat. Um, but I'm going to double down. I'm going to say this is going to be similar to what Phoenix did to the Pelicans, right? So a bit of a back and forth series and then Phoenix kind of realizes we need to, we need to end this now. Um, I think, I think Luke is going to try to do too much to avoid elimination and that kind of plays right into the Suns' hand. And that's what happened in game five. It was Luca and Bronson did 70% of the work. And then everyone else barely got any shots. They barely got rhythm. And it just never played out in their favor. And I think that Phoenix can tune out on an away crowd. And I think also looking at the schedule a little bit, you know, let's hypothetically say if Golden State won today, then that series is over. And they're resting, waiting for Phoenix. And I think Phoenix understands that they now have an opportunity to be a day ahead of Golden State for ending their series. And, you know, they don't want to force a game seven because, you know, then it puts them behind and just increases the risk. So you're saying Phoenix win? Phoenix win. Phoenix, Phoenix win. win. Suns uh, in six. Suns in six. Well, we, we both picked Suns in five, I think. And so we're, we already, uh, Luca has exceeded our expectations here. And I think... Uh, I'm picking, I'm picking Mavs to pick this one up. I said this to you earlier that Mavs have this habit of forcing a game seven, especially in the Luka era. And then it comes down to that critical game. Okay. So I'm picking Mavs to win at home. Like this whole series has gone for the home team uh, and, and also force that game seven. And look, I, I'm honestly sitting here, obviously while we're live recording it, I'm still, I'm still, I honestly want to say, I think Dallas can win this series. And I do, and I generally think this, okay? So I'm going to say on the record here, I think that now that they've exceeded my expectation, okay, they're going to win game six, they're going to go to Phoenix, and they're going to cause an upset, okay? And this could be a huge upset, okay? And this will, this could be, if this occurs, a huge defining point for Luca's career, okay? He has this habit of being really good, okay? But... Does he have the right supporting cast? Does he have enough around him? Okay, and obviously Brunson, you know, is his sort of the you know number two option. But who is it after that? It's really not clear cut. They're not a deep scoring team. They'll they'll sort of their success is driven by a lot of their defense uh, and obviously the style of play and how Luca really just is so creative in, in the offensive end on how he can get uh, himself or others involved to be able to get that bucket. I guess, and I think. I'm always the sort of guy that would like to, and I made these picks in all these rounds that may have not always been the logical one, but I'm feeling here that there is the the, the reality that Mavs can do this, okay? And so I'm going to say here that there's an upset here on the cards potentially. All right, Mavs in seven, okay? Clearly, um, they put themselves in the position here, going back home. Uh, could easily be closed out, don't get me wrong, okay? Luca might be the only person in double digits and the Suns get the job done and you guys into the next round and all credit to you. You probably should get that done. Okay, but uh, I'm going to say here, put it on record, all right? Mavs in seven, you guys are going down. <laughs> Look, there's two things that I guess I want to add. Obviously, Chris Paul has to play better than he has, really. Uh, Devin Book has obviously been really consistent and playing at an excellent rate, and that hamstring injury just kind of went and, you know, gone and went, and it's not really a concern. Aiton obviously continues to play excellent, but he's not going to play outside of that role. And if Chris Paul has another seven turnover game, fouls out, isn't there to control the tempo that puts us at risk. You know, the game five game where he has seven points and 10 assists, that's, you know, he's still controlling the tempo. That That's enough, right? Especially at a home game. But um, yeah, if he doesn't show off a game six, that definitely puts us at a bit of an, of an issue. And I'm not sure if anything's affecting him. I think it is sometimes just the age thing, you know, as we were alluding to with Harden a little bit before. He's 37, it's a bit different. Um, and then the second is, if, if there's an upset, we have LeBron 2007 vibes going on with Luca. You know, we have... Can he take this squad all the way to the finals? Probably will get swept by Milwaukee, you know, or Miami, whoever comes out of the East. But still an impressive, drags them all the way to the finals in like his fourth season or something. It's, it's very much on path for that. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping for you too, right? Not really. 